Hey loves, I just got back into Merida yesterday and I am so exhausted because I went a day and a half without sleeping due to an early morning flight that had us leaving at three in the morning and me having a panic attack for the few hours that I was supposed to get some sleep. You can hear my little one downstairs with her nanny, love and life. But um, yeah, I've had panic attacks the entire time we were in the US really, which is worrisome. I don't know why, but like it just feels like I'm having a heart attack in the middle of the night, all night long sometimes. Um, I have not had many panic attacks since I started the travel and living abroad lifestyle, so it just makes me nervous that I was there and having those. Didn't get any sleep, but had a great travel day, and I just felt at ease as soon as we got in the Uber and were driving to our home in Merida. Um, and I think it's the part of it is like the imperfection of Mexico, the the colorful house and I don't know some trash in the road different things like that there's something so beautiful about imperfection and there's a sense of freedom and a sense of ease and a sense of community and love here that I don't fully get when I'm in the U.S. and a sense of belonging acceptance I don't know and just a lack of loneliness um, when I was in the U.S. I had struggled with that feeling of loneliness that I had for for probably the entirety of living in the US and I didn't have when I was in the military station in Belgium because you have a sense of community. You have a community when you're in the military automatically, you have family, right? So going back to the US and like being faced with that lonely feeling again was super, super tough, but just glad to be back, just glad to be resting and soaking in the sun and just perfect weather here in January in Merida. The weather is so beautiful. I don't have AC on. I just have windows open, fresh air flowing through, sunlight, and ah, oh, it's just so relieving to be here. And I can't wait to get back to making content about Merida and life here and everything you need to know. So. I got back from the coffee shop this morning um, where I was working at El Orden del Chaos. I'm saying that so wrong. And I have a guest speaker coming on for the Inner Circle tonight, Inner Circle Mamas tonight. And I am exhausted, y'all. I'm exhausted ever since um, our travel day from the U.S. back to Merida. I just think like all the decisions I made in while we were in the US and just all the stuff stuff made me really tired. So I'm like coming home, trying to sneak in a, a nap before this event tonight. Um, <laughs> really appreciative today for like my bed, my cozy room, my pull down shades to block the beautiful sunlight out right now. And for this great weather here in Merida, if you wanna come visit Merida, and you don't want to deal with crazy high temps come in january oh my gosh the weather is gorgeous it's not freezing to where you don't want to be here but it's like perfect where you don't need ac you can just have your windows open lots of sunlight it's just freaking gorgeous right now y'all and i'm gonna go to sleep i have my kindle here like thinking i'm gonna read for a second but then i'm like i have two hours before this event starts I need to send a reminder email out to my mamas about um, our event, which is Libria Jones from Wondering Moms. 
she is going to speak to mama today about how to find remote work so um yeah i need to sneak in this nap right now and be all rested for this event tonight because whew, this tiredness has got to go away so nap time good night y'all or not good night good day good afternoon whatever i don't know Oh, there's one right here. You see it? I don't like <laughs> That scared me. So. <laughs> Hello. I want to see the other one. Wow. Everyone, it is Sunday. We are in the new year, 2021. And today I am meeting up with some, most single mamas, most of them are single mamas here in Merida, but one is not. But it's been a while since I've seen everyone. It's been six weeks, almost seven weeks now, because I've been back a few days um, since I left to the States. And I'm now back in Merida. Come here, Nobs. Say hi. Buddy, buddy, buddy. We're going to the playground. We're going to meet up with people. I'm super excited. And then we're going to go across the street from this playground and get this delicious ice cream. And of course, we're gonna take you guys along on our little day. I should, I gotta put my face on, look at me. I still look like I'm dying from our travel day. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so I'm out at the playground meeting up with some of the mamas, some families here, um, and we're really just talking about, we have a new mom to this came in talking about finding a rental here. It's actually gotten a little bit more expensive than Merida, and my thoughts are that this is due to the fact that Americans in particular are banned from everywhere, and Mexico is one of the few places that we can actually travel to currently. So I think that Merida... Uh, is actually benefiting in some way from this pandemic due to that as far as there being more people wanting to come here. Plus it's amazing and I think putting out YouTube videos, blog articles, all the stuff that's been happening here in the last year has really attracted more people to Merida. But it's also, although the cost of living is still relatively low, housing, housing is starting to get a lot more expensive. Um, just looking at the Airbnb costs and everything, even from a year ago or two years ago, it's gotten a lot more expensive and options are more limited and all that stuff. So that's something to keep in mind if you're thinking about coming to Merida. Um, yeah, so that's what we're talking about today over there, like trying to help her get into a home, one of the new mamas here. Um, but it's just tricky, right? So anyways, it is beautiful out here. We have these things. Lacoste, Lacoste, I don't know what they're called. These huge grasshoppers flying around, swarming the park. I guess this happens every four years. Um, they took over my house yesterday. And um, so some of some people are waiting in their cars because they're terrified of these grasshoppers. But we're having a good time. The weather is gorgeous in January in Merida. Um, and we're just loving the feeling of community here. I love the community, I love the people, and I'm glad you guys are coming along on this journey. Lonely, yeah, yeah. Antes no era así, quemaba con cuero todo ese dolor. Cuando comprendí que esto no me llevaba a algún lugar Y te conocí, solo con un beso me hiciste el amor Desde eso no quería nada más Baby, contigo Good morning, my loves I am, my mask is so dirty I am at Paseo 60 It is basically this co-working spot You can get a private office, all this kind of stuff But I'm here because um, one of my friends here put together a conference for us creatives, entrepreneurs, all that good stuff. So that is why I am here. We're not going to record the conference, but maybe just some 
you know, I'm just recording a vlog a day here and I'm about to go down and get some coffee and take you guys along. But look at this beautiful view. Loving this. Windows. Got this little restaurant bar right there. Got some. Antes no era así, quemaba con cuero todo ese dolor Cuando comprendí que esto no me llevaba a algún lugar Y te conocí, solo con un beso me hiciste el amor Desde eso no quería nada más Baby, contigo me siento bien, que feliz yo de ser tu mujer Me gusta esta versión, lo que yo soy con vos Yeah, solo necesita pa' tu amor A mi vida pusiste color Son mi mejor versión Esos gracias a vos Siempre la mujer es así, yeah Sea como sea, siempre te elijo a ti Todos esos placeres, oh, ah Sin ti en mi vida no son nada pa' mí Y pisamos instantes Que duran toda la vida no brillamos sin oscuridad Me cambiaste la verdad Y a mi ama no está en venta Para ser pana no se inventa Muchas cosas raras que comentan Ya no sé, pero Baby, contigo me siento bien Qué feliz yo de ser tu mujer Me gusta esta versión Lo que yo soy con vos Y eso necesita pa' tu amor A mi vida pa' tu amor 